Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Capricorn. So let's get into the energy of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Give me some clarity and guidance for Capricorn, please. Okay, so, oh, somebody's walking away and moving on clear-cut information there you may be you're moving on you're move, you're taking that chariot you got that uber you just jumped in there and you're out the door you're you're walking away and moving on so let's get into the energy of all 12 signs are on capricorn starting with aries you're dealing with an aries Aries may be having a new beginning in love with a uh, queen of swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Taurus has, um, option, has an option with the queen of cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Gemini is a kind of, you know, coming in as themselves with the lover's card. This could be a choice that somebody's unhappy with making a, a unhappy with a choice. Um, if you're dealing with a cancer, somebody's manifesting the queen of wands. Could be a Aries, Leo, or Sag, or someone's just manifesting passion, uh, the passionate cancer. So if you're dealing with a Leo, um, I feel like someone is looking back at the past mistakes, being patient to heal. If you're dealing with a Virgo, someone wants a justice and a ten of pentacles. That could be a divorce or a marriage. It could be getting married or divorced with a ten of pentacles, something long term and committed, somebody wanting justice. So they're if they're in it, they want out of it. And if they're not in it, they want in it. So if you're dealing with a Libra, someone needs the strength to heal. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, something's ended. Because somebody was trying to win at all costs playing mind games. If you're dealing with a Sag, Sag is holding back from a third party or holding on to a third party. It could be it could be holding on to reconcile, or they could be holding back from a third party. Take it out resonates with you. If you're dealing with another Capricorn, somebody wants to rush in and communicate. If you're dealing with an Aquarius. Um, mm, final judgment in divine timing. So there will be a judgment about something in divine timing. That's going to be a clear judgment about something in divine timing. You will have the answers that you need. If you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody is taking that leap of faith towards the emperor. So let's get into why Capricorn is walking away and moving on holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity and guidance for capricorn please what does capricorn need to know please page of wands there's um could be arguments or fights in a family situation. A harsh truth is being spoken. Empress energy um, about a new beginning in love. The king of pentacles. There you are. Somebody is walking away because of the deception. Someone's being very strategic, not showing emotion. King of wands. Oh, queen of swords. Now somebody is single. Because of something ending. So. You have a queen of pentacles. And a four of wands situation here. And you want to be with somebody. In a marriage. It's your king of swords. Moving on. Watching. Wow. What is going on under the bottom of the deck? Emperor energy. Okay. Clearly, this is you, King of Pentacles. 
Capricorn. The Capricorn, I feel like there's fighting going on in a family situation and someone speaking a harsh truth could be an empress. Could be an empress speaking a harsh truth or you're speaking a harsh truth to the empress um, about a new beginning in love, King of Pentacles, because the King of Pentacles energy was um, walking away and moving on, right? So you may be speaking the harsh truth to the empress about a new beginning in love, King of Pentacles. This is you. And uh, you're walking away because of deception. You may be walking away because you cheated or, you know, I, I'm feeling like you're telling them that you have new love. OK, so you may be in a family situation and you're fighting and you're saying a harsh truth to the empress that you want a new beginning in love. King of Pentacles and you're walking away because of that deception to a queen of swords, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And now you are the king of wands. You know, um, this is kind of that Don Juan of the deck right here. This is the lover of the deck, right? He's charismatic, good looking, goes for what he wants, doesn't apologize. You know, he doesn't ask permission. He may apologize, but he doesn't ask permission. He just does what he wants, right? I see it. I want it. It's mine. That's the attitude. Um, so you have an empress now who's now single and closing out a cycle, ending something to start something new. Now, that queen of pentacles, uh, four of wands relationship. So I feel like, I feel like I don't feel like you're the emperor here. I, I don't feel like you're the emperor here in this case. I feel like you may be the karmic to this to this empress um, in this case, Capricorn. Take it how it resonates with you. If you're not the king of pentacles, you're the empress. So if you're a Capricorn female and you feel like this is you and not this, then take it out resonates for you, right? But this queen of pentacles here is also an, uh, the empress in the minor arcana, right? She's wanting a relationship, 11-11. She's wanting her relationship with her emperor. She's wanting to be with somebody who is, you know, in this foundation celebration, whatever this is. This is about wanting to be with somebody in the 11-11, which is your, your twin, your soulmate, right? Um, but you have a king of swords, someone being very strategic, not showing emotion, kind of cold, moving on, at, but watching, kind of watching what you do. So... Um, I feel like Capricorn, the energy I have for you is, is that you have, have spoken to an empress and said, I'm moving on to somebody else. You're moving on to a queen of swords. And um, you, this is because of deception. You're moving on, hitting the gas, right? That's your energy. Um, and you're very strategic about this now. So you're thinking it through trying to win. And, but you are still moving on, but you're watching. You've got your eye on this pre-empress energy. This is, this is the other person. But they're closing out a cycle, and under the bottom of the deck was the emperor. They're closing out a karmic cycle here to be with their person. That's who they're being. That's what's happening there. So they're no longer going to be um, worried about you, but I don't know why you're worried about them. So um, I feel like sometimes they look over their shoulder or, you know, just trying to still have a little bit of control because that's a very controlling, a very controlling person. So if you're a, a masculine Capricorn, this may be your energy. Um, but if you're a feminine, you know, if you're a feminine Capricorn, you might be the empress in this case. So take it how it resonates for you. It would be the other way around. So there is fighting. There is arguing, right? And about somebody juggling, right? Juggling um, a choice where a family situation is concerned. Um, rushing in to speak a harsh truth about them moving on. They're telling, they're t you're, you're Capricorn, your energy was moving on. And now you're telling somebody a harsh truth is that you're out of there. You're done, right? Because you're moving on with a third party. That's what you're telling the Empress. Okay. And um, you're walking away for a new beginning in love. King of Pentacles energy to take that leap of faith. Somebody is walking away and ending something because of deception. And there is emotional communication about this deception. You're moving on to a queen of swords, queen of cups, a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this could be somebody um, who's kind of the person that you're walking away from at Empress for is both very um, 
strategic but intuitive. So there's there's cold energy and then warm energy. So all this emotion, no emotion. All this emotion, no emotion. Um, uh, the person you're dealing with is very fickle. Capricorn, you're moving on to someone who's very fickle, but you're king of wands energy here. Looking back at the past, the mistakes that were made because you have a single abundant empress here, pre-empress. There may be a lot of back and forth communication about wanting to be with this person, but this person's closing out a cycle. They may wait to close out this cycle, but I don't wait, waiting for clarity to close out a cycle. I don't feel like they're going to stick around. You may look back at the mistakes that you made and want to come in and talk to this person and offer your cup, but because you are watching them still. And, but I feel like you are a karmic to them, not, not a twin. Um, Queen of Pentacles, 11-11, uh, wanting to be with her emperor. That's it. She's manifesting being with, manifesting new love to be with the emperor, to rush towards them, to rush towards them. Meanwhile, you have the King of Swords trying to move on, but watch at the same time. Justice is being illuminated. Somebody now sees something from a different perspective and they're brokenhearted because of a new passionate beginning. I feel like there's betrayal right? They breadcrumbed somebody and it caused a burden with an option by being strategic, not showing emotion. But here is divine timing. This queen of swords needs strength to watch a relationship heal from the drama, causing, causing the tower moment because someone is healing with an emperor, two of cups. Okay. This is the energy of the empress. They're healing with an emperor, um, two of cups. They're resting and recovering so that they can be with their emperor, two of cups. I feel like divine timing is at play. Um, all of this happened. Um, you're, you, it's been illuminated to you, justice. Um, and now look at, looking at something from a different perspective, heartbroken. Heartbroken because of a new passionate beginning. So you broke your own heart, leaving somebody behind and they went and found their person. That's what happened because of that betrayal and no equal give and take breadcrumbing somebody caused that burden, right? With an option because somebody was trying to win at all cost. This is somebody who's, who plans, plots and plans and wins. That's that King of Swords energy. It's coming through you, Capricorn. Divine timing's at play and um, over this Queen of Swords. So you're a true match with the person that you left your person for. You're equal, you're, you're matching there, you're matching your karmics um, or your new person's energy, right? Um, you need strength to watch the relationship heal, right? With the emperor, that's what I'm feeling. And I feel like there's jealousy and it's causing a tower moment. I guess the shoe's on the other foot now. So, wow, Capricorn, that's the strongest um, relationship that I, reading that I think I've given you in, a long time, a very long time. So you're remembering the innocence, wisdom, and adventure. Um, change, right? So I feel like there may have been innocence with the previous person that you left. Um, this is you gaining some wisdom. Um, because I don't know, maybe the change of an adventure. Um, this is maybe you, maybe you having, um, you know, you felt like you were going, you may have felt like, oh, I'm bored. I'm going to go on an adventure. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And you see the changes, right? Uh, I feel like, you know, the innocence was with the other person, but that wasn't your person either. So take it how it resonates with you. You know, you may have felt that draw to this person. They may have been a soulmate to you, but they weren't, they this new person could be your soulmate, your true soulmate. Um, manifesting your dreams, passage, and chaos. Um, so you, you <laughs> I feel like you're going through hell trying to manifest your dreams. That's what I feel like. Um, they're saying be patient. Passage. You know, this is you, you know, it's at that gateway. You're passing through something. You, you know, could be going through the dark night of the soul, right? Through the chaos, right? Uh, so be patient. Uh, enlightenment is coming. So I feel like you may have um, 
you definitely got a taste of your own medicine. Uh, that's just what I, that's what I feel like here. And people are going to argue, well, that's not me. Well, if it's not you, then you're the other person. Take it out, resonates with you. But this is what's telling me. I'm starting to understand the connection. I look for you everywhere. I love you unconditionally. You may feel uh, finding out the truth crushed me, right? So when you found out that your person went and found their emperor and connected with their emperor and you saw that and it caused you jealousy um, after you told them you, you were leaving them for somebody else, shoe got flipped, the switch got flipped. You, it was karmic justice handed to you, definitely. So guys, that's all I have for you. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week.